What's up everyone? Jay here as always and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Uh, the trilogy, the HD trilogy, that's on PS4 and other consoles and PC now. So uh, yeah, we got a new case we're, we're going to be starting and I, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Let's jump into it, and we got episode four, the turnabout goodbyes. This will be the day one of the investigation. Not entirely sure if we'll get through the whole trial today, but I do stream again tomorrow, and we might continue it then, or we might get to something else. But let's uh, let's jump into uh, Phoenix Wright once again and get like super excited. Oh, Lord. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. Oh? You've suffered. But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. Oh, what? Merry Christmas. You can't shoot people on Christmas, that's not merry. Ugh. Uh. Holy shit! Oh, I'm starting off with a bang! Hey, baby! Edgeworth, no! What in the hell? Hey, hey, Nick. You called it. Yeah, you did, okay? I didn't think it was gonna be about Edgeworth. But, wow. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Perf preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that about... Is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. It, you are the master detective at this point, yeah. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news. A large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling, calling it Gordy. And a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake, Nessie pro proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Um, I doubt it's the real deal, but... <laughs> boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick. Oh, the water pressure is kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with hoses? Good idea, Nick! Jesus. Apparently, Fey Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time, it's murder. <laughs> That's not good. Or Blake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Oh, this is gonna be good. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skills, his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career, 
Has he thrown it all away? I, I don't know. Um, the picture in the beginning did show him holding the gun, but I don't think Miles Edgeworth would murder anybody. Uh, Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Nice! Mamaya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? Self-defense. It could be self-defense. When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I... I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. It definitely could be self-defense. I could... I mean... If he's defending himself, I don't think he should be charged with murder. December 25th. Detention center. Visitor's room. You know, Nick... We've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Oh, there he is. Oh, he looks angry. Hey, Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh, laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Ah, it's a trick. <laughs> laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time, we can spend it coming down here and laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want to you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Edward, tell me what happened. What should I? What are you going on about? What are going to do about it? Duh, we're going to help you. That's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you, Nick. Why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices and the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. But Mr. Edward, you, you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I want to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? Oh, I'll tell you later. Why won't Edward talk to us? We have nothing to present. I guess we'll move to Gord Lake and see what's up over there. December 25th, Gord Lake Park entrance. This is where it happened. Yeah. Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people probably. Oh, we're gonna meet, um, Gumshoe again, I bet. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal. There's enough of us here. Anyone find anything? S sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot, the trial's tomorrow. 
We need clues on the devil. But, but sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who does. Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll, I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. I'm sure gonna kick the shit out of somebody. That's not cool. That big dude will tear their arms off or something. So just, just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. He's always been kind of scary. Recruits. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Eek. <laughs> Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts! Why does he keep confusing me for Larry? Phoenix Wright. Oh, right. Phoenix Wright. Oh, you ever learned my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Um, well, yes. I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Thank you! Like, seriously, thank you. Our hero, Gumshoe, he knows Edgeworth didn't do it. Damn right he didn't, and he saved our asses at the end of the last case. So, Gumshoe's a-okay in my book. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you, you don't say. No, buddy, we're gonna talk. Detective Gumshoe. Do you know what happened here? Uh, you don't know, pal? No. Wow. Okay, uh, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Why? Why do I gotta be Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer? Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you later. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out in Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth. A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness. Uh, I want to find out about the witness first. Who was this witness? Uh, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything. Apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Oh, so this is Christmas Day. Oh, that sucks. Still, we're, we're being thorough. I gotta fix one thing, guys. I'm sorry about this. I still have... The chat set to DS up here. Wait, what? Visual settings. Yeah, there, there we go. Done. Alright, now chat will be up on screen in the chat box. I do apologize. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting for me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> Edward. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? 
Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taken this investigation that seriously. Oh no. After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. That is kind of messed up. Why won't anybody help defend this guy? I mean, I'm really glad that Gumshoe here believes that he didn't do it, but... I mean, it it's not... It's not part of his character. Seriously, like, he's... He's better than that. He wouldn't just off somebody because of something. Defense request. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Oh. I don't know the whole story. But apparently, no one he's been talking to will take his case. But why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. I wonder why he won't let anybody defend him. Do you think it's the, uh, the other attorney that's in the trial? I wonder if it's like some badass or something that he thinks nobody's gonna defeat. Un unfortunately not. Well pal, then you've got a job to do. Help out Mr. Edgeworth. Prove that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me pal. Show me you're an attorney. But damn right I'm an attorney. Can we examine anything? The sign says Gord Lake. Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. Maybe that fat guy. Oh, I wonder if it's him. He's supposed to be like the best of the best, but... I always thought he was a defense attorney. Not a prosecutor. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, my opinion. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. Sigh. What is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. Well, maybe we can move. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's go back to talk to him. Oh wow, I don't... Maybe the right offices? What to do? Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth to check... Oh, okay. Oh, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath a what? Oh, god damn it. We have... I... I guess it's... I guess we gotta find something? We have no court records. No clues here. What the hell do we do? That badge. You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. You gotta show that to someone who needs... Okay, um, I guess let's present the badge to your attorney's badge. Edgeworth, let me defend you. 
A good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. Wait, what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. Why? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Edward, this is really hard for me to ask. But you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick, Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? My, uh, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... Uh, why won't he let us help him? He's framed. You think he's framed? But... That, that doesn't still answer why he won't... He won't let us help him. You think somebody wants him dead? Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defend him and lost, you your reputation would be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal. Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Ed Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. The way he's acting, as if he knows if right helps, he'll be in danger. You think so? Huh, I didn't look at it like that, but maybe, maybe you're right. Nick. I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Um, no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before... about before I head out? The autopsy report. Oh, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Mm, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk about, talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. 
instructions from the police station received from the de from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. Wait, what? Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Gumshoe's helping out. Gumshoe's the dude. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Alright, now let's get to investigating. Alright. Let's, uh... Gord Lake Public Beach. Let's, let's check out the park. And then, uh... Go down to the precinct... Precinct, uh, or that other area. It's number 25th, Gord Lake Public Beach. Wowzers! This is Gord Lake! Yep. I'm not sure it weren't so wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand, of course. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. She always wants food, this one. I bet they're great. A name like samurai dog, how could they not be? They're really behind the times, though. The kids are all about the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. <laughs> uh, I guess we could look at the stuff around here. A hot dog stand, it's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads, Samurai Dogs. <laughs> Somebody needs to redecorate. Nothing else. Uh, Maya, uh, someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes pop. <laughs> yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Is it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. Eh, why not? I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my bucket. <laughs> she took them already. That's that's funny. A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a hot dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. The trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Huh? I almost didn't see that signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. Maybe we could go check the boat docks. Obviously, I mean, they were out on a boat, so. Uh. Uh. Let's go check out the woods first. December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. I like it here, Nick. <coughs> Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. They may have seen something. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Huh. Let's see, this SUV has seen better days, it's dented all over, I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Hey Nick, what, don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no, I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum then? I'm not having this conversation. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. The sign says no camping. A funny place to pick to uh, pitch your tent. Kinda, right? Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. 
I don't see the person around, so where the hell are they? This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. Cough. Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. <laughs> I'm not screaming that. <laughs> uh, Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's Bergen. Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? Bang! Go oh, shit. Well, it responded. Yeah. Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! Eek. What in the Sam Hill? Look what y'all have done now! There goes a whole roll of film. Uh, what? Huh? So sorry. Sorry is nice, but it don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of that film cost? Witness. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking of setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well, what? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all the Yanks link. I say those southern folks talk with an exaggerated draw. Why they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. <laughs> Nick, help. And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends? Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it, for be Jesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. Oh, boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. Second part, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. Oh, she is going to be something. Jesus. Um. Um. What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used the whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Um. 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 What? Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh. This is my badge? Huh? That badge is supposed to be all shiny and impressive. Are you a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> uh, Bave? What's Bave? <laughs> I don't know what Bave is! Well, what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I've wrestled meaner looking things than you. No, no, that's not at all. Oh, yeah, badge. I, I did that. <laughs> We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. I'm gonna think of it. Where did Maya get to? So sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. <laughs> Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if, um, if you please. If it pleases you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I think I'll be okay. 
Okay then, I'm Lotta. Lotta Heart. But uh, but y'all can call me Lotta. I'm here f photographing meteor showers for a research project. I'm mighty pleased to meet ya. Oh god, the 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 freaking country accent's gonna stick by the time I'm done with her. Jesus. So Oh yeah, when was that murder you anyways? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so Christmas Eve? A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you said. I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Lies. She sent that to Frame Edgeworth. She's playing dumb. You're already calling her out, huh? <laughs> Why? What do you? What makes uh, you suspect uh, a lot of heart? Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching these here late for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. It's kind of hard to remember which I've seen when. Ugh. So, what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? Uh, y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. Country U, really? Right in the heart of the heartland. <laughs> Wow, neat. Hey, she's a research student at a university. Country U. Uh, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? But didn't I tell y'all that already? Medias. Yep, media showers. Falling stars? <sighs> the cam clicked on loud bangs like a gunshot. Yeah, but if she was there uh, filming um, meteor showers, I mean, that would... What would the camera find for meteor showers, though? I mean, they're not gonna... Unless it hits close, they're not gonna really make a noise. I bet you she was out there for Gordy. They're, uh... This game's a Loch Ness monster. I get I bet you she was. That makes more sense to me. That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made. A genuine so LinkedIn. Isn't that where they make knives? Um So what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? A device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that. That might triggers the shutter whenever it detects a certain sound. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. Gordy shouldn't make gun loud noises. That is very true. I don't think Gordy would make... Maybe. Maybe you're right. <coughs> hmm. A programmable camera. Neat. Otto's camera added to the quarter. Huh. I mean... You try presenting her own camera. Lotta? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises. Uh, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? I mean, yeah, that face right there, that tells me she's on to something. Like, she knows more than she's letting out so far. So, uh, maybe, maybe she, she did catch something. Right. Now wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to the, or a party popper? Party popper! Damn it! <laughs> I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Oh, hey! Y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what y'all are saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. 
It would have been a photo taken late last night. Oh fuck, that was Phoenix, goddammit! He's not country! <laughs> I checked him once and don't remember if there was anything on him though. But what if I got something? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! <laughs> I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Okay. She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Uh, let me examine. Oh. SUV has been. Yeah, okay. It's the same shit, so. I guess we'll, uh. We'll move to the other part. Gordon Lake Benches. And then we'll move over to the boat rental shop. We'll check that out. And if anything, we'll go back. We'll check her again. And then we'll go back to see what um, Edgeworth has to say. To see if he'll let us actually help him. Right now he's being a prick. <laughs> Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Um... I don't know. We'll examine the boats. Right now, it doesn't seem like it's gonna really provide anything, I guess, but... We'll see if we can find anything. There were some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder? I wonder. Nick. Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. I'm not gonna murder you, Maya. After back and forth for like four days, finally gonna be paying for my animation. They even said I can pay half now, half later, which was very nice of them. Cool, how much is it gonna end up costing you, Wendy? And uh, yeah, welcome to the stream, anyone. Who's uh, watching and lurking in the background? Feel free to talk to us. Uh, I promise, uh, Libby and Indy don't bite. If they do, just you know, spritz them a little bit, and they'll back off. <laughs> Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Uh, all right. Oh, there's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues. All right. Um. I'm gonna go back and check on her, and then we'll go see Edgeworth. Uh, she doesn't look like she's back, so. We'll go check out Edgeworth and go from there. Alright. And he's not back, so. 120. Like 20 more or so than what I thought. That's not. That's really not that bad for somebody actually putting in a lot of work. Uh, how much is it going to be? Uh, not how much is it going to be. How long is it going to be? Uh, I guess we could go to a criminal affairs department. We haven't been there yet. December 25th, police department, criminal affairs. Uh, I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe. We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Oh, God. The victim. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edwards said anything? Not a word. So how did that meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. T true. You know, I don't know what uh, to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edwards, human like you and or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he's done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. I'm not sure exactly. I know they said they're gonna start on it this week. I don't think it'll be very long. They got they get stuff done somewhat quickly. That's pretty neat, dude. Uh, you you gotta let me know when you finally get it. I want to check it out. That's just the kind of guy he is. 
Why can't anyone else see that? So, they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it. <clears throat> well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'll be sure to let you know. Also, Edgeworth is a su- Yeah! They actually got him down in detention. Uh, they're saying he murdered somebody on a boat in a lake. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe. How come you trust Mr. Edward so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Damn, Edgeworth can't cut a, cut a break lately. No, he can't! No, he cannot. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times. But there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. And we've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. Hmm. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that. Yeah, I made a copy of it for you. Time of death sometime on the 24th or 25th. Cause one bullet shot to the heart. So they're not even sure. So it had to happen like exactly uh, at midnight. If not a minute before or a minute after. I knew Edgeworth needed us. You did! Yo, she called it even before, like, a couple days ago, she called that Edgeworth would need our help. So, honestly, I kind of wish Libby was here investigating because she, she knows her shit. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Nick. Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Who that guy? That face? Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Hmm. Well... I mean, I guess we could go back to Gord Lake, check if she's there again, and... If not, go back to the detention center. December 25th. Hey, y'all! <laughs> Lotta! Wait up a sec. We got Bingo. Bingo. My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. Oh, that's not good. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. Looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know. See, these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Wow. Uh, are you serious? Cause, uh, how do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Um. Uh, uh, that's how that goes off when you receive an item. We'll make a great text notification. LOL. It would, and it is already on my phone. <laughs> um. 
I reckon so. I mean... What's that? How don't y'all go trying to mock my accent? I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Huh, wait, wait. a lot of... What? can y'all see I'm kinda busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Oh. What? Wait. What's the second photo, right? Lotta. Don't let it get to y'all skivvies in a bunch. Friends today handed me tomorrow. But was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. I don't. If she only showed us one photo, she didn't show us the second one. You're right. Definitely all right there, Libby. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we could do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Taken automatically on 1225 at 1215 a.m. So, if that was taken at 1215 a.m., that would mean the murder took place on December 25th, on Christmas Day, or a rarely early Christmas morning. So... Why does the autopsy... Why is the autopsy so uncertain? Because we've gotten autopsies that had pinpoint the minute. But this one is kind of wonky. Alright. Let's move back here. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! Oh God, it's Santa! Uh, Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. I see the connection. But don't be ridiculous, dude. It's me, L Larry. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? I gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, Kai, Kaiant, Kaiant deserves the key deserves the best. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Bruh, Santa was kind of scary. Kai, not another motto. I hope. Oh, Kaiant, is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? Oh, Lord. She brought this costume for me. Uh, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Santa tell selling samurai dogs by the lake. Alright, that... <laughs> oh, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... What? No, 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 she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Fey. Um, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, it must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister. I I'm my older sister's little sister. She friend zoned him and he doesn't even know. <laughs> it sounds like that. Uh, that sounds great. Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. Let's, let's see if he knows anything. Hey, Larry, there was a murder here last night. And uh, since you work here, have you heard anything? If you're wasting your time, last night was Christmas Eve. 
He was with Kayans. Kayans, or whatever. Obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. <laughs> I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, no, it's just... Kayans not in town right now. She, she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. This guy, he has the worst taste in women. Like, the worst. <laughs> Thinks he is a GF already wanting to hit on Maya. Thinks he has a girlfriend already waiting for... Yeah. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Uh, neat. The defendant is Edward, Miles Edward. Um, Nick, why would Larry know Edward? Oh, Nick. You don't mean that, Miles Edward. Old Edgy? Uh, what? I don't. You don't have the balls big enough to call him something like that. Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder. Uh, you know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? <laughs> Samurai dogs. <laughs> um, um, tell me about the dogs. Oh, oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of... Look, gourd shape. Oh, well, originally they were guard dogs. You know, like guard dogs? Ouch. The samurai thing was Chaos's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Is it me, or does butts look like Zell from FF8 a little? Just hair, a little darker, lol. I, I mean, yeah, he does. He kinda does. I can see it. Something about that was just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G G Gordy? Uh, let's talk about Edgeworth before we talk about Gordy. So, Mr. Edgeworth, who was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick and him and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father. Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow, wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. <sighs> what? Edgy's got a probose? What? On his knee? No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. It's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh? Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty uh, to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick... Uh, Nick might know. Sounds like Edgeworth probably had a falling out with his dad sometime or something. Uh, maybe. I mean, um, what's Gordy? Uh, you mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant, mysterious monster, Gordy. Use that against Edgeworth. Oh, you're right! We could probably go back to the, uh, the, the holding, whatever, yeah, detention center. 
and uh, use that against them. It's here in this very lake, the giant mysterious monster Cordy. Uh, monster? Yeah. Check out this. This is in an article from yesterday's newspaper. So there's a photo. Wow, it's really real? That looks like a big old hand. Nick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the clamor to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Birdie article added to the court records. Busted! Oh, wait, what do you mean, busted? It seems connected to the murder a little. It kinda does, not gonna lie. But, we got to go to the detention center and talk to good old Edgy. Ed. Where are you, Edgy? Criminal Affairs. December 25th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. <sighs> Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for a detective gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently, an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh oh. Oh, god damn it. Can we go back to. Oh, uh, okay. What is it? Oh. Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me the autopsy report once more? Hey! I, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right. That guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him for old time's sake. Alright. That was kind of on to some. He still didn't get his damn painting back. Lola, the southern girl. Lotta. Lotta heart. Grossberg's Law Offices. Ahem! That old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! Uh -huh. You have me as something, or... Are you not? That was her understudy, yes. The Phoenix right. Ah, and you! You are me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. Then my sixth feels... What? <laughs> your sixth sense feels works? Yes! <laughs> it takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Oh yes, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. Food and drink. Go get your food, man. What is it, then? Something the matter? A little bit. What happened? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? Uh, uh, just got up, you see. Oh, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. Th th this is terrible news, indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Hmm. 
What's up, Defang? He was thinking the old housemaid, Consuela, and how she used to smell like lemon pledge. <laughs> uh, no, no. Mr. Gersberg, what happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, man. Uh. Hmm. Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! <laughs> did, did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. It's Hammered. Robert Hammered. Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? So this is the moment the crime took place, eh? Yes. You can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. Is, is he like, uh... I'm not sure I can help. Okay. There we go. Bitter like the lemon-scented affair with Consuela. <laughs> right? Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? That's... Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used the spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. He was also the great-grandfather to them park enthusiasts, John Hammond. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> it's kind of funny how the mustache wiggles. LOL, right? But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. It happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used their powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against the one man. But Mr. Hammond won that case, and the suspects was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, yes, quite. Thank you. No, no, please. Don't mention it. DL6. I never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? I, I ought to cosplay it. You should! Do it, please! <laughs> I want photo evidence, goddammit! It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father. Gregory? Oh, shit! Well, what? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. That's a picture of their mom. Wait, this is a photograph of my mother. Misty Faye's photo, at photo added to the court record. Oh, shit! <laughs> Yo, let's go back. Hopefully he's there this time. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. I guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Look at Misty Faye, goddammit! 
Edgeworth, it's only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you started on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. Maybe you're right, this whole DL6 thing. Maybe he does think uh, Wright will be in trouble if he snoops on that. <laughs> she just got real, right? <laughs> so do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Oh, he's cooperating! The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. I've been waiting to know more on Edward's past. Oh! Um, before I continue, there's something I want to do. There, he actually has two games. Miss, um, Miles Edgeworth has two games. One was localized. I do want to play that. But the second one, there is a very, very well-received fan dub that uh, they did of the game. Because it never came here. Because uh, Phoenix Wright was more popular than Edgeworth. But, I was actually reading it the other day, and the second game is way better than Edgeworth's first game. And I would like to bring them over to here at some point. What do you guys think? I do know that you do find out a lot about Edgeworth's past, more than you would here in those games. What would you think? In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. That's pretty, pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. Yes, 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 do it! Fucking do it! Alright, sweet! <laughs> the spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. That's why he's a prosecutor. That's why he's a prosecutor, because him, being a defense attorney, got the dude who killed his father off. And he got he, he got his father's murderer, the not guilty plea. I bet you that's why Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord, Gord Lake murder. Correct. Hmm. That spirit medium. That was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end. And now... This. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? Statue of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case of statute or limitation runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. I bet we have to do this case before that happens. I bet. Suspect. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent. I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. I, I guess it would. 
I'm telling you, he's framed. Um, so was your father a lawyer? This is getting all of the emotions going right now, dude. Never thought a game about damn lawyers would be this intense. Yo, dude, that's why I have been saying like these games are amazing. Again, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to play actually through them. Um, so, was your father a lawyer? There actually is indie. You could um, you could look up. There is a Phoenix Wright uh, anime. And uh, most of it's dubbed. At least the first season, I believe, is dubbed. And the second season has subtitles, if you want to deal with it. Dude, this is why the Ace Attorney series is so fucking great. <laughs> yeah, it is. He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, so... Hmm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone. No. So you didn't shoot him. Can you imagine a tabletop version of this? No. No, I don't. I do not... Imagine doing this shit in Dungeons and Dragons. You could take that idea and flush it, please. I love you. I do, boo. But no. Do you know how much shit would need to be set up for a game like this? Uh-uh. No tabletop Ace Attorney games. Thank you. <laughs> Episode 1 is free on YouTube. I'll be sure to check it out later. Do it up, dude. It's cool. They do change, from what I understand, some of the stuff. I've only watched the cases that I finished in the game. So, um, the cases that I have watched, they change a bit of the, uh, the dialogue and stuff. So it does seem kind of different. So much charisma, wisdom, and intelligence. Yo, dude, it would be a lot... But it'd be so awesome screaming, OBJECTION! <laughs> you it would, but no! Oh, that would be so bad. Though if you really want to do a tabletop ace attorney, just do a mock trial. We would have to, dude. I mean, we could probably pull, like, real trials and, um, fix them up so it would be, like, exciting. But that would be so much work. No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. Oh, he's gonna ask! He's gonna ask! I uh, know you want us to defend you. Yes. Will you? Of course we will! Can't let a little edgy go to jail! <laughs> uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Here's a thought. Phoenix Wright, multiplayer. One player is defense, second player is the other. Dude. Um, I don't know if that is, like, possible, but that would be really cool. Not gonna lie. You'd have to try to get your client off while the other is trying to get them indeed guilty that would be really cool that that would be awesome never mind I guess you don't really need to know uh, my letter of request please give it to detective gunship Edwards request to put in, uh, put in pocket well uh, I guess we should w what's that uh, earthquake Nick it's a big one ah! It's calming down. Whoa, that was scary. Uh, where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the floor at a ball shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well in earthquakes. I've never heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. 
Mr. Edward doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right? That was odd. Someone get Capcom on the line! <laughs> that would be actually a really fun game. We... We need to- we need to write a letter to Capcom. We really do. We need to do something. Like, start a petition or some shit. We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a little while ago. So she came to talk to y'all here after hearing what Mr. Red had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? Can you imagine how long some cases would probably take? It would be a lot of fun, though. You have to admit. Like, playing that game of wits with another live person? That would be awesome. No, no, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I could do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Would you, would you just fucking take this, please? Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! Dude, it would be fun, lol. I would stream that all the time. I really would. I... This game... If you guys want me to do the two Edgeworth games, you gotta think, there's... There's five Phoenix Wright games. That's not counting the crossover he did with Professor Layton. Then there's the two Edgeworth games, and I believe there's either two or three of another attorney in the same series. You'll meet him in another game. But he has his own game as well. A uh, own co game or two as well. So there are a lot of these Phoenix Wright games and I I want to play them all. Honestly. Go ahead, I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow then. It it is a pretty big series. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived about out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Uh-oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, uh, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm not- I'm going to check on him now. You two, go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. We're going to trial! We're going to trial! Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. Oh, we get to meet the prosecuting attorney now! I wonder. She was never that scared of them when he was in school. Uh, then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edward. Oh, we're going to the courtroom next! Oh, the best parts of these games. Yeah. Before we go do that, I do want to take a minute and see how many games there actually are. How many games are in the Ace Attorney series? Six. Six. According to Wikipedia, the Ace Attorney series launched in Japan with the Game Boy Advance game Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney in 2001 yep. and has been published in the West since the release of a Nintendo DS port in 2005. The okay. series currently consists of six main series games and five spin-offs. Thank you, Google. Okay, uh, yeah, like you said, there's six main series games. And then there is Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. And then there's two, there's um, at least two Miles Edgeworth games. So, yeah, that's, uh, 
that's actually really cool. And uh, yeah, I I'm down to play them all. I I love this series. But day two trial. Let's do this. December twenty six, nine forty four a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number Two. Karma. That's right. Manfred von Karma. What? He's the best prosecutor there is. Oh, fuck. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. 40 years without losing a goddamn case? No. You, you, you can't do that to me. That That's horrible. Wait, seriously? This was a Game Boy Advance game? They did an incredible job making it look a legit recent visual, not virtual novel. Visual novel, yeah. No, dude, this, this game came out a long time ago. It has been... It, it was on the Game Boy Advance. Then this trilogy that we're actually playing in now... Um, moved over to the original DS in three separate things. Then the trilogy came out. And moved over to the 3DS, which I actually own that on my 3DS. And uh, they re they just actually redid all the visuals and everything, and ported the uh, the trilogy over to the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, as well as uh, PC. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case. He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Huh. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. It's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. Well, I'm sad I've missed out on these, lol, but I'm glad to be watching you play them. Dude, I mean, like I said, I want to play them all, really. This this is slowly becoming one of my very favorite series. And it's it's so well written, even though it's got like that anime like twinge to it. And I'm actually really glad it does because it makes it all exciting. Like like you said, like there's so many like emotions going through all of this. And especially when you get into the courtroom, coming up towards the end of the case is when it really starts to freaking get good. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. Wait, what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied multiplied by a factor of ten. Ugh. Dude, they sell the original trilogy on the Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I got it on the 3DS. I'll whip it out and show y'all, man. <laughs> that sounded weird. So, so was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep. I think it's only for the 3DS so far, but eventually they're porting to the Switch. Well, they already ported this trilogy that we're playing now, the upgraded, the, you know, upgraded visuals and everything. The HD version, they ported it over to the Switch already. It's the other two that are out for the 3DS that they haven't. Edgeworth already looks intimidating. Doubt Karma looks more intimidating than, than Edgeworth. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He had it, hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years? He's as ruthless as me times 20. It's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Um, Maya? Uh-huh. You could really be using Mia's help right now. Don't you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry, I tried, I really tried, but I couldn't reach. Couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. 
My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Oh, Maya, you suck. Give me me. <laughs> Pretty fucking much what he just told her. <laughs> oh, God. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, Lord. Why does he look like Dracula? Um, Mr. Von Karma? Is the prosecution ready? Four. You seriously think that would, that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? It is Dracula, dude! <laughs> right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. This name does sound like Dracula. Wow, I love how the very first word we hear from Carver is just full. Yeah, he's rather intimidating, not gonna lie. Describe the incident now. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at this map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Overhead map added to the court record. Testify to the court about the arrest now. Wow. Oh, wait, Mr. Von Karma. Yes? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. His name sounds like Dracula. Rock, there is only one thing you need to be doing. You will slam down your gravel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Yes, of course. You're quite right. He's not. Th this guy's gonna be hard. I. Wow, he actually has me a little shook, not gonna lie. The arrest of Edgeworth. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But, the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Damn, dude's effing evil. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I see very well. Beginning your cross-examination, attorney, now! Jesus Christ! The arrest of Edgeworth. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. I'm gonna need your help on this one, guys. <laughs> you received a call from a man. Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Whoa, his objection sounds evil! That woman and man who called in the reports are two different people, obviously. People. There were two witnesses. 
Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping? A lot of heart. Dude, his voice is like Demon Kratos. <laughs> oh, it is! No, you were a hundred percent right, dude. Tim, you're right. Now, the woman who was camping, a lot of heart, yeah. What happened next, detective? We heard we headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Oh well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick. <sighs> Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Y yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to your next year's salary review. Jesus. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for dejected daydreaming. Continue. Yes, sir. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything, but uh, I wanna... I, I wanna hold, yeah. I wanna press there. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him, then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Dude, he sounds like Satan! He's derailing you. Why didn't she call in? Why didn't she check the photos before? I don't know. I really don't know. Detective, the report requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. Objection! Yes, Satan. <laughs> Why did you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Yes, Satan. Detective, this court isn't interesting in your musings. Deep trusting poppycock. You wag your damn finger at me! I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. <laughs> detective Gumshoe. How does it look so good? Continue. Now! But the next morning, a body was found in a lake. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. Yeah, but... I, I miss Edgeworth. <laughs> I miss Edgeworth, too. But a single bullet was on the body, but... Didn't he... Didn't um, he say that the... Uh, there was two shots from the gun. A single bullet was covered on the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts this bullet into evidence. Found on the victim's body, fired from a .22 caliber pistol. Okay. This guy needs a beating. Yeah, he does. Satan needs to be beat back down to hell. So we arrested Mr. Edgeworth. But why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon. A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right, so, sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive evidence. Okay. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Okay, he has that same 
evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Wait, what? Order, order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Uh, accepted into evidence. The murder weapon, 22 caliber, fired three times. Now it's three times? Bears prints from Edgeworth as a right hand. Remem members of the court, we have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Y yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes. The ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. The make, though, if it's not a 22. It is a 22. Yeah, it, uh, the court records here. The bullet's 22, and it's a 22 caliber. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. You leave her alone, you... Vampire. Hey, hey, he's glaring at me. Tisk, very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, me? Uh, mm hmm. Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. This don't look good. This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge, I'd say it's almost decisive yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... Uh, no! Uh, you wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge? Yep, guys. What are you doing in ten- What are you doing? A ten minute recess now! But, but, wait, I- Just bang your flimsy gravel and get on with it, man. Yes. Uh huh. This court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? Okay, you can't just force a recess, asshole. No, you can't. Wait, why wouldn't he toss it in the water? I. You bring up a good, uh, good point. Hopefully, we could get some information from him here. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Mm hmm. That foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you on the boat? Yes, it was me. What? What? You must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Th then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You, you mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I could come up with. Uh, how am I going to convince anyone of that? Say Maya. Huh? What? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh, sorry. It's no good. Uh, I know. 
I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? Shut up with that stuff. If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? Oh, I need you. Oh, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You won't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. <laughs> Everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Whoa, 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 right! I won't change this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, so sorry. Whew! Oh, here we go. Court is back in session. Mr. Von Carver, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Oh, Lord. Lotta Hart, you are a research student at a university? That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the murder, the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? <laughs> she already hates him. Y'all need to learn some manners. Understand? Yeah, I understand, I understand. Uh, very well, your testimony, please. Witnesses account. I don't want to continue this court, lol. Karma scares me. <laughs> It was Christmas Eve, and just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. There was... there was another bang. There wasn't near a thing in the lake but that boat. Uh, enough. Huh? Judge? She happened to take a photo of the incident. This is the photo, accepted as evidence. Well, well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. That it is! But you can't see shit in the photo, except for, like, some silhouettes. Order, I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have an order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on the lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. What do they need? Order, order, order! I will have order! Oh, well, Judge. The evidence... The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, this court finds the defend. Ah! Wait, wait, your honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? We have photographic proof. What question can there be? This photo was worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. She's got two, didn't she? That's what she said! You lose, or... Do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? So wagging your fat finger, asshole! <laughs> uh, very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you held in contempt of court. Uh, Nick, contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I, I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? I, I do. I think I noticed one little thing. Well, uh, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Alright. Let's take him on. Y yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. We found someone new to hate. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, you do. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. Witness account. Oh, God. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I want to look at the... Uh, that's not sure. 12.15. Like, overhead map. I want to check the map. Because they said it happened near the middle of the lake. So she would have been able to see something. But why don't we have Larry Butts here? I know he was probably there. Bullet found in a victim's body. The ballistic match markings match the murder's barrel weapon. Uh, well, let's hold it. Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Yeah, well, yes. Yes, Satan. I know you want to find contradictions, but really? I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. I was in my car. Okay. But it was foggy, so your window's probably fogged up. It wouldn't be Christmas Eve if it's past 12 a.m. No, you are, you're right. Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Miss Hart, could you be more specific about your research? Objection! Stay the fuck out of it! Right's right though, it would have been Christmas. What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of question. Objection sustained. You cannot call the shots in the court. I am sorry, Satan. Dracula, no. Dracula, demon Satan, shut up. Oh, wait, now, I'm the one who says that. Well, let's say it already. Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. I heard this bang come from the lake. So you weren't looking at the lake at the time? Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. She said that already. I actually defined contradictions. Not leisurely chat with the witness. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. So she saw them in the boat after the bang. <clears throat> Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? No, not clear enough. Uh. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. And objection from the Dark Lord himself. Two gents in a boat sounds like a black and white silent porno. Oh, God. The witness was testifi has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You'd best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. Jumped in quick, he's hiding something. And then there was another bang. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless! Contradictions, Mr. Wright, not meaningless babble. I'm Carmen, I think I hate you. That is how everybody feels right now, Phoenix. We're with you. We all hate Von Karma. He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. 
it's a wood end. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but the boat. Okay, I pulled the trigger on that one. I was wrong! Music didn't stop. Witness statement is clearly faulty. Mm. The guy died by one bullet to the heart. Yeah. I'm sorry. What's your name? I have to pen Yeah, I know. I pulled the trigger on that one. Oh, there wasn't an area. I'm gonna wait for that boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. It sounds pretty sure. How come you're so sure? Oh heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake. It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Ugh. I freaking hate this guy. Not two, not three, just one. Yeah, no, you're right. There is only one bullet that hit him in the heart. Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. Uh, no need to further for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, that's what I'm... Sustained! Yes, of course. Oh, great. Enough! The Von Karma family is full of assholes. There's more of them? I, I, I don't want to know. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. But, but, Your Honor. You keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I am afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts. By holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh-huh. Nick, Lada's testimony is fishy. Nick, real fishy. I know what you mean. But if I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Uh, but who, who was that? It was me! I, I, is something wrong? Do, do you need to use the facilities? <laughs> no, I do not. A lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. He's highly... It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lada. That's the big idea, treating me like some kind of criminal. I saw him, I swear. I saw Edgeworth. Enough. Judge. Declare the defense in contempt of court. The, yes. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard or escort Miss Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. Oh, no. God damn it. Wait. I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Ah! What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Oh shit, Maya getting a backbone! You go, girl! <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix? Right. Uh, wrong. Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony and I have to write to cross-examine her again. Oh, thank you, Myra! <laughs> Camera. 
Order, 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 order. Through contempt of court, it's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What? Oh, thank God the judge has at least one ball. What? Miss Lotterheart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. Oh shit, loopholes! Fuck you, Karma! <laughs> but, but he's in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest somebody, arrest me. Hmm. Very well. Maya Faye, you will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. Oh, Maya? Oh, damn it, we lost our Faye. <sighs> I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm out of time. Better find a contradiction in there or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross examination. <sighs> I saw it clear as day. The men the man on the boat was Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Do I press or what do I present? Do I present the camera or do I present the photo? The photo is blurry as shit. The camera shutters. Okay. The camera the camera was also on an automatic thing, so I say present the photo. Okay. Got you. Got you, Miss Hart, finally. She could have she couldn't have made him out at all. But what? You got what? Look at this photograph. The photo I took the very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So so, so? this picture was taken with professional high quality film correct yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat yet you claim you saw mr. Edgeworth if she heard multiple shots there would be more than one photo that's very true I'm sure that'll come up how what what mr. Wright has a point oh, Satan. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please. Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Kaima. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course, I said I could, and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstance of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Von Karmer's carefully vague testimony. No, Edgeworth was seen. Yeah, all right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. She's very pushy on being able to see him. I feel like she's more in on this than we think. Maybe. And even though your high-priced camera and film couldn't catch their faces, how are you going to see, see their faces through binoculars on a cold, foggy night? I don't... I don't believe it. Uh, used binoculars. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. Now, Edgeworth was seen. Yeah, right. It was a cold night and the mist was thick as grits. So, 
How could you see Edgeworth? Now just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankee types will never find a gal where I'm from. Defense attorneys have trouble with that as it is. Oh lord. <laughs> Wait, she said she turned and saw it. Now she was back in the car. Huh. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in my car. Yeah? Your camera. Yeah. It's got an automatic... Mm, I hate this boy. The issue we are concerned with here is Miss Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. Objection sustained. He's not letting her answer any of my questions. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. Binoculars. Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday, you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars, for that? I've got doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? She was there for Gordy. I bet you she was there for Gordy. The camera is irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for certain. Mm, Mr. Wright, is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with the line of questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to press further about this camera? This is make it or break it time. The camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Uh, maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Hmm. The camera was set up to take pictures of meteor showers. But the meteor shower isn't going to make a loud gun-like sound. Is the camera the thing that took the picture of the murderer? Yes, it's fucking relevant. <laughs> Miss Hart. What made you choose to that lake to photograph meteors? You know the fog gets thick on the lake. It's not very suited for stargazing. Yeah, well... You see, I... I guess I wasn't thinking too straight, huh? Right? Mr. Wright! I will not have you badgering my witness because of her challenged intellect. And the camera wasn't pointed up to look at meteors, it was facing the lake. She was looking for Gordy, that's why she was there. I will have... I will not have you badgering my witness because of her challenged intellect. Now wait a minute! Continue your testimony. You were saying how it was you... It was that you saw Edward. There. Yeah. No unnecessary comments, please. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. I don't know. Should I press her here? Or do I submit the, uh the camera or the picture of Gordy. Did Karma just call a lot of dumb? Yeah, she did. Yeah, he did. He definitely called a lot of heart dumb. <sighs> when I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked. I say press, honestly. Alright. Uh... If there was a heavy fog, how would binoculars change that all? At all? What do you mean? Even binoculars can't see through fog. But you say you clearly seen him. Uh, I did, yeah. Enough. There's no room for doubt in her testimony. She sounded pretty doubtful to me. 
but I have to find a clear contradiction first. I don't care how many von Karmic objections I get. I'm going to find a hole in this testimony if it's the last thing I do. Okay, I... Oh, god damn it, I went too far. Sorry. The camera was set up to take pictures of meteor showers. When I heard the loud noise on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. The camera was set up... Should I... Set up to take pictures of meteor showers. Should I present... I, I feel like I could present the map here. Because that was the what the camera was pointed out watching. Or this. Or that. I mean, I don't... So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in my car. The camera was set up to take pictures of a media shower. When I heard that noise, I set up... <sighs> I looked with my binoculars. I'm gonna try this. Even though it's gonna... Evidence fully reveals... Nah. I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Camera was set up to take pictures of meteor showers. I'm gonna try it there too, so. It reveals the contradiction. Nope. Oh. Okay. I don't think Nessie has a point in this one. When she says set up to take pics, try to present the camera because it clearly was set up wrong. You sure you're not a lawyer, Indy? You are photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. S says who? I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have a to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? I see a redo. Don't say that, that's not nice. Honestly, it was it just wasn't set up right. No, you're right, you're right. I should have did that two tries ago. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. But well then what exactly was she photographing? Your Honor, take a look at this. That's when I use that. Miss Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy! <laughs> Gordy! Ah, the sighting at Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart, I, I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Um, uh, I have proof. I have it. Proof. Hmm. Intriguing. Very well. Let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. What is this proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy the lake monster? Um. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck you, Karma. What proof do I have to show? <laughs> uh, uh, here's my proof. It's simple. If it's simple, then why have you obviously made an error, Mr. Wright? What's that? We go home. Consider a career change. Oh, how can they casually toss aside this evidence? Oh, whoops, wrong evidence. Luckily for you, I'm in a patient mood, Mr. Wright. One more time, please. Oh, it is proof. Uh, the witness was trying to photograph Gordy the lake monster. I'll present the camera again because it was set up for a loud noise, right? Gordy would make a... Okay. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. 
Oh, dude, I got one more strike, then it's redo. I don't want to redo it. Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Was the photograph here taken when a gun fired on the lake? And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well... You were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set your camera to respond to loud noises. Exactly, the meteor shower wouldn't make a loud noise. Order, order. I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart? You were camping there to try to take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah, not bad. Are all your lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. Well, you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove. It's nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Wow. Uh, hey! <laughs> but, as so currently said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason, I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart, why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the courts? Please revise your testimony. Shit. <sighs> Alright, fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change, it has to. And I'm going to spot it. Oh, guys, this, this is it. Two photos, two gunshots. Lada's new testimony. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Photographer. Imagine who what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, it looked I looked right straight at the lake. And there wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. And then I saw a flash near one of the men's heads. And I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time. Cross my heart and hope to fry. The other shot was Gordy. The other shot was Gordy? Huh. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Oh, fuck. The witness testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. There was no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Uh, hmm. Objection! I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Von Karma's up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because... Why? Was there a contradiction? Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something on mind, in mind. No, I'm not. I'm not really sure of myself. Huh. That would be a first. Uh, very funny. You understand that this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at the time. At that time, Mr. Wright. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. We are fucked. Fuck. Fuck. Fucked. Okay. A lot of new testimony. Actually, I'm not a research student. At a university. There has to be something. 
then what manner of person are you? I'm not sure I'm high flown enough to be called a manner of anything. Huh. I'm an investigative photographer. An investigative photographer. Yep. You get your you get your photo and sell it to the press. It's that kind of business. Hey, I was taking pictures of my sister's graduation last year. And guess what? Uh, what? There was a UFO. Uh, you UFO? What? Just a hanging in the sky. A UFO? You know, an unidentified flying object. A UFO. And that's when I heard sort of a revelation. I feel like like every objection to a von Karma can be translated to fuck you, you egotistical, self-righteous, cock-biting douchebag, and I hope you die in a fucking fire. Did I mention I really don't like the von Karmas? I, I, I feel like I get you. I mean, oh, that, but but I do agree. That is what every objection is. <laughs> I mean, you probably add a little more to it. <clears throat> That's when I had a sort of revelation. I know I should become an investigative photographer. I, I see. Kind of a shaky basis for a career. So, she said there wasn't much to look at in the lake. Then why would she be there? I think there's something wrong in that specific statement. No, I think there's something wrong in that specific person. Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. Imagine what a scoop it'd be to get a picture of that monster. Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah, they even had him up on a TV. I'm sure that appearing in the local news. News is a rumor of the month segment qualifies. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted on, a on Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey, they also had a picture of him in the newspaper for real. I bet they did. Mr. Wright, this is one fight I do not believe you could win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, that's why I was camping out by the lake. That's why you put the automatic sensor on your camera. Yep, I borrowed it from a university professor. It analyzes every sound it picks up, and when it gets a bang, it snaps a shot. Yep. So how many pictures has it taken so far? Oh, the only time the camera triggered was that night. Hmm. But that's all I was hiding. No, she just said that that's why I was camping up at a lake. But that's all I was hiding. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if word got out what I was up to, the lake to be swarming with competitors. Competitors? Yeah, second-rate shutterbugs trying to steal my scoop. Ah. Is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, actually. And of course. Mr. Wright, I'll not have you asking questions with no rev rev re 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 relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Von Karma, I know you told her to keep quiet. Yo, Phoenix is just hating this boy. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out at the lake. 
exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. She claims two bags. Very true. There wasn't much else to look at. Yep. I don't know if she heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there. I kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What? What did I do now? What are y'all giving me that look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. And let's continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Then I saw a flash near one of the man's hands. And I heard another gunshot. Okay, then there's something up. I can guarantee you she was looking for Gordy and not at the boat. Try to present Gordy in that not much to look at. She'd think the bang was Gordy. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at the time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe he was shot from somewhere other, some other place? I don't think so. Nope. The lake was smooth as glass and nobody was on the shore neither. Hmm. I gotta find some sort of contradiction in his testimony. I won't be able to beat Von Karma any other way. There has to be something. Alright, so you think... I guarantee you. Try to present Gordy in that not much to look at. Okay. That's all the time. There wasn't much else to look at. So you think I should present Gordy here. So I just watched the... Huh. I'm like 95% positive about this dude. Alright. Well, I just did it, so... Miss Hart. Were you really looking at the boat? What, what's with you? Because I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree. Any normal person would. But you are far from normal. What, what are you trying to say about the poor girl? What? what? Y'all want to step over here and say that? You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any signs of Gordy. That's why. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Uh, order. Continue, Mr. Wright. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well, well, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hart. Are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? So sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just... I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. This just isn't getting you anywhere, honey. I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat till now. Uh, this, this is totally uncalled for. The judge is just as disappointed as everybody else, I'm sure. But, but, hey. You got the photograph. You got proof. Hmm. Still, we can't see who is shooting who in this. It was lying so she could act cool. <laughs> right, right. That's why I took this photo and... There's a second photo, of course. What's... Witness, that's enough. You had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shut my what? 
What was she going to say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of a mite, but should let us see who's who. She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karmer let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth or worse. What should I do? Make her show the enlargement? Wait and see what happens. Make her show it. Miss Hart, look at this photograph. You enlarged the photograph, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Why has the enlargement not been presented to the court? But because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in the court in the first place. Yo, fool. Oh, thank God. Thank God for the Southern Bell. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, um... Miss Hart. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. Throw balls, judge. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. There it is. Ah, uh, hmm. We still cannot see who is firing in this. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Denied, bitch! <laughs> yeah, he was. Taken automatically on 12.25 at 12.15 a.m. Happy now, Mr. Wright? Hmm, there has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. And a little good it has done any of us. And here's the best song in the game. Wait. The best all look weird. Hmm. I suppose this means that the cross-examination is over, obviously. And then I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lotta Hart. None too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karmer, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. But I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Weird, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue to this photo somewhere. No, that looks like the same gun. I sure as shit the same gun. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. There has to be a clue somewhere. This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Object to the enlargement. Show other evidence. Let's see. Object to the enlargement. I'm gonna try that. Your Honor, there was something to say. Something strange with the enlargement. But what might that be? Different hand. The prints were from a right hand. The prints were from a right hand, and it's being held in the left. Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. What about the photo in the strain? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge exactly. Ah. Uh, what? 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 Bam! You want it? The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is straight? Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence. Left hand. 
Okay, it's Prince of Merchant. Oh! The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were, found, were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> the pick is left handed. Now, not everyone in the courtroom is quieted down. I would like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You have given us definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, oops, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot the victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? Miss Hart, the victim himself. Larry? <laughs> Let's just pin it all on Larry. <sighs> there was only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. I was the only one that made a lip of sane, a sense. Order, order. So you were saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. Satan? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. What? what? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. Meter, that's three feet. There is no way it could have been suicide. Ah, no. Back, back, back. Order, order! Mr. Von Carver, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course, I already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Autopsy report updated. Report. Time of death sometime on the 24th and 25th, shot from approximately one meter away. Hmm. I see. Very well, allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints on the gun reveal that the shooter has not was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a con condendrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders the defense and prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. This court is adjourned. Oh, break time. <laughs> I don't know how I got through that without starting over. Seriously. December 26th, 1.15 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Phew, that was a close one. Hey. Don't you have anything to say? No. I've yet to be declared innocent, right? Yeah, but... What happened out there on the lake, anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. I Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. Hmm. Look. I'm going to go check on Maya. Oh. Right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell... Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Can you just to state how you really feel with a thanks, Edward? Oh. Requested a transcript of Lauder's entire testimony. Requested. 
I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter, so the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lada's disposition added to the court. Oh, God, that was... that was something else, not gonna lie, that... Satan needs to stop his shit. <laughs> Edgeworth, the legal sundary of Ace Attorney. <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna overwrite that one, and we're gonna call it quits on this one. Uh, it was actually a really long one. So, uh, yeah, we'll continue this next time I stream. I will be streaming tomorrow, so we will continue with then. Um... We'll be starting around the same time, 9 o'clock my time, which is in Texas, CDT and all that. So, uh, if you guys do want to come back and watch, feel free. That would be really awesome. Good, my heart can't take any more Satan. <laughs> right? But so far, so good. This was really exciting, not gonna lie. And having to defend Edgeworth is really cool. There should still be another photo! <laughs> there should be. There should be another photo. Maybe that'll come up in tomorrow's thing. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to talk to a lot of heart once again. So, But either way, this was a whole lot of fun. Thank you guys for coming out and actually participating and helping me out with the game. Um... We do know, thanks to Defang there, that there are other Von Karmers that we're probably going to run into. So that kind of scares me a little bit. But it gives us something to look forward to, which is awesome. So we'll continue this tomorrow night when I stream then. So again, thank you all for coming out. I will see you guys in the next one. So bye bye <laughs>